Today we're going to talk about something that everybody's thrown away since their existence and that can sell for a ton of money. We're basically talking about garbage today. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something very unique, very interesting that everybody's thrown away pretty much since they've been invented. Today we're going to talk about bottle caps and the high value that some of them can go for on eBay. As I said, we're going to talk about bottle caps. We're talking about vintage ones. We're talking about cork lined bottle caps. And let me just show you the other side. It's just basically a bottle cap, but instead of the rubber or the plastic in modern day ones, it had cork. That's the only difference on these, and they are vintage. They can go for hundreds, even a thousand bucks plus, if you get the right one. Here's a perfect example. This has Uncle Sam on it. This one sold for over $400. Now, you might think, where are you going to find these? I find bottle caps at most barn sales in a tin can, in a garage, in a basement, in an attic, in a kitchen, in the bottom of a drawer even. They don't have to be super old to be worth some decent money. 60s and 70s, if you can find some with still with cork on the inside, can still go for a lot of money. Now here's another one. Now Coca-Cola caps aren't all the same. This is one from Hong Kong. Any vintage bottle cap from another country almost always goes for some insane amounts of money. 27 bids, $313. It's dented, it's used, it has some Mars to the finish, and it still went for that kind of money. These just don't show up very often. But as I said, you can find these all over the place. Maybe not something like this, but there are tons of vintage bottle caps that I pull out of sales all the time. Estate sales are great. Garage sales are good too in garages, in an old coffee can, sitting on a shelf. Many times people will plop them off and just throw them in a can in the garage and it will be sitting there forever until someone like us comes by and picks them up. Here's another lot, Japanese cork bottle caps. This one went for $300. Now I'm not even showing you the most expensive ones that sell either. Again, some of these can go in the thousand dollar range for a popped off used bottle cap that someone throws away 99.9% of the time. Hence the value. Everybody throws these away. That's why they are collectible. And most people who do run into these haven't a single idea whatsoever that most of these can sell for some good money. And I do mean good money. Condition is not everything in this field either. Again, as I said, ones from different countries go for a lot of money. This is from Monaco. This is another European country here. $257 on this one. Here's another interesting set. These are four Walt Disney ones from the 1930s, from the Silly Symphony Ages with Clarabelle in them. $235. Now an immaculate one of almost any of these can go for 50 to 75 bucks a piece on almost any day of the week. Excellent source. Most people miss this sort of stuff. Again, they'll pass them up because of conditioner. They might have some Mars. They might be crinkled around the edges or something, but it's not that case with these. Most of this stuff will sell in almost any condition as long as the detail is still there fairly well. Now here's another good example. The one on the right is so faded you can barely see the Atlantic Ale on it. The other one has just a plain simpleton label on it. Most people, again, would think these aren't worth anything. These look like nothing. These do look like garbage. It looks like something that was thrown away. So 190 bucks on something like this is some good money. Many times I can get a whole can of vintage cork labels for five bucks at a sale. Again, people look at what's in there. They look at the dirt, the grime, and they think nothing of it. Now you can find some of these that don't look very nice, but you can polish them up as well and bring them back to some extent. So excellent area to invest in. Pepo Root Beer, another oddball one too. Any of these earlier ones are ones from strange locations. Monroe, Louisiana. It's not a massive town. Been there myself. Interesting place. Something you wouldn't expect to be from that area. $165. Now here's one with wear on it. You can see it even has some rust on it. It has some discoloration. Diamond Spring Bach Beer. Very interesting one. Again, condition is not everything in this category. Some of these very rarely show 
show up. So when one does, even in bad condition, it still goes for good money. I'll say it again. You can find these at many places, garages, barns, attics, in the kitchen in a drawer somewhere, underneath the cabinet. I do turn up bottle caps when I'm out looking for them. Here's another interesting one. Royal Guard Orange Soda, $113. Hopefully this is giving you some honest and sincere ideas on what does carry a value. Now here's a Donald Duck one for Donald Duck soda. The grape ones are a little scarcer. Mostly orange is what they marketed. It was in Florida as well. They had orange juice, Donald Duck orange juice. These do go for some good money. Most of the Disney ones are hard sought after, especially some of these variants like this one here. Another $113 on this one. Now here's a Zhang's beer. This is a well-known brand back from the 30s and 40s. Interesting, this is from Colorado, Denver, Colorado, $98. You might just run into this and not have a clue would you see Zhang's and not think anything of it. Most people just don't assume that anything like this carries a value. They're small, they're easy to mail. There's so many reasons why you should be looking for these right now. Now here's a Neff Spear, another earlier one. Now this one's extremely early, 1913, 1915 era, before World War One. These do show up. Cork was used as far back as they have had caps. Before that, a cork would cap the entire bottle with just the cork itself. 80 bucks basically on this one. Now here's a knee high. It's well known for grape knee high, orange knee high, the whole works. This one has the leg on it. This is very scarce to say the least. You'll run into the regular knee highs if you do this enough, but this one's fairly scarce. $77 and it is faded. It's darkened over the age as well. Still an excellent one with 16 bids. Now here's a gold medal Tivoli Lager beer. Interesting one. This is from Springfield, Massachusetts. Rather nice to say the least. Now it doesn't matter if it's beer or soda. They go hand in hand with each other. They sell very well regardless of the type of material. Here's another interesting Coke one. This one's from Minneapolis, Minnesota. The location itself is why this one's going for $66. Again, location can mean something. The size of the bottle, this is a six food ounces. There's a 10, there's a seven. You just gotta pay attention to that. These are in the price guides too for Coke. There are price guides for some of the bottle caps for beer and other sodas as well. Now here's another Tivoli line. This is Tivoli Union Brewing Company from Denver, $64. It's all scratched up, scuffed up, the whole works looks like it has some other issues some dings sometimes too the liner is gone you won't see the cork someone may have popped it out or used it to make a washer out of which is something they did back then so again it doesn't matter if the cork is in there even it doesn't matter if it's scratched up now if this one had the cork and wasn't all scuffed up and scratched like this it could have went for a couple hundred bucks but again this is something most people won't have to pay much more a quarter 50 cents I doubt you'd spend more than a dollar on any cap. I don't think I've ever spent more than a dollar. And return on almost any of these cork caps is at least five or 10 bucks, even for the very most common ones from my personal experience. And just one more here, this is Berkeley Club Ginger Ale Soda. Rather interesting one, that's an interesting design as well. It's from the 20s, just what you would expect. Now it has a push, many times there is a push to the front. Most of these probably have some sort of push, which is from them popping it off the bottle. It's not a distracting factor. They still sell $57.56 with 37 bids. Hopefully that's an eye opener, but that's what I have for you today. Well, there we are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
everything goes right. Everybody laughs and nobody fights. You make a perfect cake for lunch and try Hardy's new Smurf Party Punch. You never fall and you never trip. And somebody gives you a gift. A day to throw yourself a party. And come get on the Smurf classes at Hardy's. How do we get one? Buy a medium drink for a special price at Hardy's. Select all six. Have a Smurf Day party.